Remember this, Guardian. When the darkness sought destruction of all things, the Black Armory persevered. Our very soul resides in that vault. It must be secured. The Black Armory is depending on you. How's it going fellow Guardians? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to be doing a quick summary of the TWAB that was released last night. So if you do find this useful, a like would be greatly appreciated, don't forget to share and subscribe. I am doing another giveaway at 2000 subs, so get the word out. Prime Angrams are about to change for anyone under the 600 power level. Prime Angrams will now drop more frequently with a larger power bump for players under the 600 power, enabling them to hit that 600 power and get up to the Black Armory power level a lot faster. This change is planned to land in the 2.1.2 update coming on December the 11th with the dawning event. More changes will come in the upcoming updates, but this is just the first step to help people along. The raid launches in a few hours and the world's first will be underway. Not much of world's first when Bungie allows players to get 650 power in the first 36 hours. I mean, why even bother at this point, right? But alas, I'm not going to break into a rant third video in a row because obviously Bungie see this as acceptable gameplay and see progression fine. I just wish Bungie didn't block me. I do genuinely believe they could learn a lot from the stuff I post. At least I think they have seeing as they don't even acknowledge my existence. But that could also be my subscriber rate. So people share and get subbing so they can finally acknowledge good advice. Because we all know that super good advice is coming from this channel. Worlds First will also get a raid jacket and belt with Bungie's and Activision's endeavor to cash in at all angles now. Power ammo is changing and for the better. Here is a breakdown of how power ammo is changing and believe me, it's great. So for the competitive playlist of Control and Clash, the respawn timer for heavy ammo is going from 45 seconds to 120 seconds. So essentially it's going down from less than a minute to two whole minutes. This is amazing and it's a fantastic change. It should be a little longer I think. I think it should pretty much go to about three, four minutes, but it's there and at least it's a step in the right direction. Survival, as it's a more fast paced game mode, is going from 45 seconds to 60 seconds. A small change, but again, I don't even think Control and Clash went far enough, so I don't believe Survival went far enough either. Rotators, Showdown. Initial timers will stay the same. They've increased the respawn timer from heavy ammo from 30 seconds to 60 seconds. And finally, Rumble. Rumble is the one game mode I've actually fallen in love with and they've increased the heavy ammo from 60 seconds to 120 seconds. So hopefully the Wardcliffe spam will finally come to an end because God only knows that's all we're seeing in Rumble these days. Josh Hamrick was on hand to give us an insight into sandbox changes that will be coming end of January. Rapid fire snipers will become two body shots instead of three. Lower zoom scopes will be on a few more snipers and they currently have no intention for the time being to change the way flinch works. I like rapid fire snipers, especially the supremacy. So for me, with potato aim, this is a welcome addition. Nova warp is being tweaked, warlocks, which basically means a nerf. But hopefully it's nothing serious because outside of this, Warlocks are garbage in PvP. Their well does absolutely nothing. Storm Trance does absolutely nothing. Nova Warp is a one shut down super that pretty much has the lowest hitbox known to mankind and is just pretty garbage. So yeah, hopefully this isn't bad. Fingers crossed we don't all resort to playing Hunters going forward. If you would like to know my opinion as to what an acceptable nerf to Nova Warp would be, the actual activation timer. Reduce it by about 10-15%, but at the same time, the blink for Nova Warp that uses so much of that super, reduce that proportionally so they can actually utilize that skill a bit more with the lower duration. So I think that would be a really nice fix for this. Pre-Forsaken supers are being looked at to be more viable. Telesto is getting nerfed. Telethos bolts to kill will now match its charge rate, meaning it will do less damage, but still more than normal fusion rifles. Due to its explosive nature and being exotic, it will do. Additionally, PvE damage is being buffed. 
The decrease in damage is small and incremental and will continue in this fashion till it's right. Scout rifles are being looked at but not for January, but changes are coming for this archetype. Trace rifles are being looked at in the ammo economy, especially the waste meter as that was the one that was clearly mentioned, to see how it makes them more viable. Once this resolves itself, then they will look at the weapon itself and see how overpowered it really is. Titan skating on PC is being looked at people and at some point will be nerfed. As it's tied to a particular jump, the fixes they have right now break the implementation of the jump and as such this is something they don't want to do. So this will be nerfed, just not in the immediate future, but they are looking for viable ways to get this to stop. So enjoy your Titan skating PC Titans, it will be coming to an end. And that's a quick summary of the TWAB, hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, see you all in the next video. Remain legend.